In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Snowblind by Black Sabbath. What's going on? My name is Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let's get right into it. We are in C sharp standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune down a step and a half, and let's do it. Most of the action in the first riff is happening on the now F sharp string and we'll be playing the minor scale with our root on the seventh fret here on the F sharp string. This is a C sharp. So here's the first half of the riff. So it's seven, nine, ten, then slide down to five. Then this is kind of the, the tag of this, this uh, riff here, this. So. Very cool, this 7-5-7. Seven, seven. From there, the second half of the riff starts on the third fret. And we're going to play a, a power chord, just a root 5 power chord, and going to throw a little groove on there. Then we slide up to the, fret, the fifth fret, and this is going to be a full-fledged power chord with the root, the fifth, and then the octave here. And this one we play, we ascend the whole thing, and then we go back to that F-sharp string, fifth fret. Then we end it with that tag, this time on 5-3-5. Five, five. So it's... So here's the whole thing, nice and slow. <laughs> what, a, what a great way to start a song. Riff number two is going to start back on the root note. So it starts with that kind of tag. This Then he does this really cool quick hammer on on the, what is this now? The B string where it's from five to seven. And then back to the fifth fret of the F sharp string. And then it sounds like he just kind of hits this seventh fret on the C sharp string and slides out. Those. In some of the live versions, it sounds like he does this thing. It's a hammer on five to seven on the C sharp string. Fifth fret. That's so cool. Riff number three changes the feel, kind of changes the character of the song for just a second by adding this fourth fret on the F sharp string. Kind of gives it like a major 
tonality as opposed to like a minor sound for just a second. So the, the first half of the riff goes like this. So it's seven, five, four, and then fifth fret on the C sharp. From there, it sounds like he kind of walks up like chromatically up into this pitch here, this third fret on the F sharp string. So that's what it sounds like on the recording anyway. So we hit the sixth fret, then jump to the third fret. And this time, instead of playing just the root five power chord, we're playing the full thing. And then slide, same thing, five, full power chord. So here's the whole riff. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and makes all these videos possible. Thank you so much, and let's get back to it. During the fourth riff, things heat up on bass, and we are all over the place on here. This was a really fun part to play. The riff starts out on the root note, seventh fret, and then we kind of walk down stepwise using these octave shapes, this. So here's the first half is. On this third fret octave shape, he kind of adds a little more variation to it. He does one of the. And I'm just keeping my finger barred across this whole thing, but you could jump over. Then we go down to the second fret. And then walk back up to the fifth fret. Here's the first half nice and slow. First half of that riff really sets us up nicely for this more melodic part, and this is so much fun to play. Uh, and I mean, Ozzy just kills it in this song. Just the whole song opens up. This is a great part. So I'll just play the first this this kind of next busy section. <laughs> So the phrase starts out on the root note, this time the ninth fret on the high string, which is an octave of that seventh fret that we just keep coming back to. So it starts here. Then we do go back to that root note and we go seven, then five, seven on that B string and catch the seventh fret on the high string. The next part starts on the fifth fret, does that same five, seven on the B string. This time we go sixth fret on the high string. Last part starts back on the root note. 
Same 5-7 on the B. This time we land on the 5th fret on the high string. So those three kind of small pieces starts. Just killer. This sounds so cool. Then we walk back up to that ninth fret. Then ninth fret on the B string. Then just do that same walk. The second half of the phrase starts on the ninth fret. Does those same kind of three small pieces. This time, finish is a little bit different. So we end on that fifth fret, and we jump immediately back to the ninth fret and walk back down. Nine, seven, five, landing ultimately on the fourth fret. And walk right back into the the first half of it. Here's those two parts, nice and slow. It's just brilliant. Riff number five happens during the quintessential out of nowhere Black Sabbath bridge that doesn't make any sense how we got there, but makes perfect sense when you're in it. Uh, happening on the root note. Then we go up to the minor third here, fifth fret of the B string. And it's really like kind of a shuffle feel. Comes back to the root and finishes fifth fret of the F sharp string. The very first time he plays the this riff, kind of the end phrase or like the turnaround of the of the riff, he embellishes it a little bit, so it makes it kind of busy. He goes, instead of playing this minor third twice, just plays it once, it goes back to the root. Then does that same pattern just on these bottom two strings. Then. Just awesome. Really hope you dug the lesson, and if you want more Sabbath and more heavy bass lessons, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>